Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and I am a moron. <laughs> yes, actually, uh, I did a video yesterday about the best of Polygon game dev assets bundled by Cinti Studios. By the way, it is an awesome bundle, so if you didn't check out that video for some reason, well, don't bother because I was a massive idiot making that video. So I figured I'd do a bit of a follow-up. I made a huge mistake when I did the latter half of that video. The first half, 100% right. It is a great bundle. As you can see here, you can get a ton of Polygon packs from Cinti, really high quality, low low polygon uh, art packs. They're available for both Unreal and Unity project versions, but you also get the raw source file. So you can use them in whatever game engine you wish. So now we're gonna get on to the part where uh where I'm a bit of an idiot and why I had to do this errata or follow-up video is uh, I kind of showed you this page after and uh, this, is, this isn't this is the right bundle. This is actually a bundle from a couple of years back. I'll show you why I made the mistake in a few minutes but instead what you have to do to get this bundle is go to this page. So this is how it works. Basically you get a set of three redemption links. What you need to do is go to the Cinti store uh, so you click this link right here, it goes to the Cinti store, automatically populates your box, but you've got to create an account. You don't have to give them any payment details or anything like that, but you're going to have to do this one time for each of these things. So basically go to the Cinti store, create an account, uh, no payment information required for the free stuff, um, and then check it out. In terms of why I screwed up, well what I did is I kind of came in and I searched for my purchases. I searched for Polly, and at the time, only one showed up, and it had a February date, and I didn't look any beyond that. Little did I realize that was the best of Polly game dev bundle in 2020. This is 2022. This wasn't showing up yesterday, actually, so I kind of just went ahead and did this. I was just brain dead and stupid. So the redemption process is completely different, but once you've redeemed it, your store page looks like this. So as you can see from my credentials over here, um, you don't need to give legit information. You do not need to give them your payment information, anything like that. You basically are redeeming these three products. You just have to give them, I believe it's first name, last name, uh, and uh, address. By the way, uh, if you're looking for a fake address, 90210 California works just fine. And once you've done that, you can get your access to your files via your downloads via the Cinti link. Now, I'm going to show you with the Sci-Fi Space Pack. Now, since I screwed up and I'm redoing a video for no apparent reason, I'm also going to show you a couple more things to answer some questions in the previous video, just to make this a little bit more useful than just, hey, let's laugh at Mike for being an idiot. So I'm going to show you how to actually go ahead and use these assets in both uh, the Unity game engine and the Unreal game engine. We'll start things off with Unreal Engine. So you go ahead, you download one of these things, you're going to see you get a multiple different files. So you can get the raw source files, the Unity version, the Unreal Engine version, you can also get the new Unity version. So if you're using the scriptable render pipeline, so the ERP, uh, this is the package you're going to want to get. Otherwise, you can get the assets via zip file this way, but this is the one I'm going to demonstrate today. I'll also showcase using this guy. So I've downloaded both of those sets of files, as you can see right here. They come down as zips. The one is pretty straightforward. This is the source file. So as you can see, you can come in here, you can get them uh, object files for non-animated or uh, simple objects in the scenes. We got static meshes in FBX format. Uh, we got the characters broken out again, all in FBX format. And then the textures are available here. Now, the cool thing about the textures is a lot of these are swappable. So you've got alts that'll give you a completely different color pattern. All you have to do is switch that uh, that texture in place. Uh, and then you've got a completely different look. So this is the uh, the source version. So if you're using the Godot game engine or you're using these in, say, Blender or Flax engine or something to that effect, this is the version you want to download. But otherwise, you get an Unreal one and a Unity one. Now, the Unreal one, when you unzip it, you get something like this, and it's really simple and straightforward to get started. Basically, double-click the Unreal Engine project and pick which version you want to go with. So I did uh, 4.17 or whatever I have installed, or 4. I don't know, whatever the newest version is uh, from the 4.x branch. I selected it. It tells you that there is a plugin missing. You can just skip that. It's no problem at all. And then here we are in Unreal Engine. So this, by the way, is one of the assets you can get. This is the... Um, the space scene asset. So this is the external scene of it. So you get an idea of what you can use these assets for. They're modular in, in nature, so you can um, kind of build more complex shapes out of things. So this is the outside scene. By the way, there is also an inside scene. You can see from here. So let's do the interior demonstration. Uh, for the interior, you go inside and you can see the other kind of assets. So it's really high quality, uh, low polygon assets with multiple different texture sets going on. But to get them working in uh, the Unreal Engine, literally just open up that project. Now, if you want to use them in a new project, it gets a little bit trickier, but not that hard. So basically take the files you've just opened up, find the folder that you want, just right click it and say migrate. Pick the assets you want to migrate over, 
and then pick the project content folder that you want to move it into and it will automatically copy things over. So that's getting up and running with Unreal Engine. Now I've got a Unity project creating in the background. Hopefully it is done now. All right, so here we are. This is a universal render pipeline a demo as you can see in action over here. It should be good to go. Now bringing these assets in is actually quite simple. Go to your assets folder, right click and do an import. So import package, custom package. Uh, go to the file that you downloaded. So here you can see the um, Unity. So it's the Unity package right here. We want that package and click open. It's going to give you a list of the assets in that package. So give it a second. Come on. I find the Unity importer is totally random with how long it takes, which makes uh, do I pause or do I not pause during your video a more challenging thing. So apparently it's going to take a little bit of time. Oh, no, it's done. All right. So you see here, list of all of the assets in the scene. We're going to go ahead and do an import on those assets. Uh, they will all be pr uh, brought over right now. Now, once those assets are opened and imported, you should see a new folder like so. And inside of it, there is another package called ERP Extra. So just go ahead and, or sorry, ERP Extract Me. We're going to want to go ahead and extract that out. That's all the um, the ERP or Universal Render Pipeline uh, textures to make things work. Once those are in place, plus the shader graphs needed to set things up and so on. Come in here to shaders, and we have the exterior and interior demos. We'll open up the exterior demo right now. And as you see, it works uh just fine it's amazing the default rendering differences between do i still have uh no, i got the external out uh, the default render settings between these two engines are amazing how actually different they ultimately look uh, but that is how you would bring them over into uh the unity game engine again if you are not using the standard pipeline you do have that extra setup step of bringing this in but really it's really straightforward all you're doing is doing an import package and bringing in the u package file and then alt, um, if you're using the, the rendering pipelines, you have that one extra step. Now, if you're after that, you've imported everything and for some reason you're still getting the dreaded Unity pink, all you need to do is go to, depending on what version of Unity you're running. So this is Unity 2020. This is an earlier version of Unity. You go to edit, render pipelines, universal render pipeline, and then there is a um, upgrade project and this will bring all of the shaders over, hopefully get rid of the pinkishness. The other thing is it's also in the newer version, it's been moved to uh, Windows graphics or Windows rendering and then conversion utility. So uh, there is a utility in place for automatically taking standard assets and converting them into render, like the scriptable render pipelines. Um, so if you do get the dreaded pink results, uh, if you're running an older version of Unity, you basically do it via this setting right here. Uh, otherwise, it has moved into Windows Graphics Converter or something to that effect. So just to be aware, uh, there may be one additional step. But with all the assets I've seen from this pack so far, they do have that um, that importer available that makes it so you don't have to do anything. Uh, now, if you do the HDRP, you're probably going to have to do the conversion process. I haven't checked that one out. So again, my sincerest apologies on this one. Uh, definitely screw up, up on my end. Uh, when I demonstrated it, uh, I know some of you were confused. Like, I don't have this download screen. Yeah, that's the older pack. Um, the new pack, again, you use these redemption keys. And then once redeemed, they are available uh, on the uh, Cinti site. Again, you do not need to give them any commercial information or even valid information, just a valid email address and a login that you'll be able to get back to. And then all of your assets will be available here for download, uh, as you can see right there. They are for unfortunately broken down into the various different orders, um, but your library is pretty comprehensive. So if you are interested in getting this pack, the uh, link is down below. If you do pick it up on my channel, it really helps me out. I'm also gonna probably use this as an example in a Godot project showcasing Godot for 3D capabilities. So I'll also show you how to import those things into Godot at some point in the future. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. Uh, but yeah, sorry for the mistake. And hopefully if you're using Unreal or Unity, it answers some questions about how to actually use these assets. And that is it. I will talk to you all later. Hopefully not as a bit of a dumbass. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye.